Many of us take for granted the fact that we can crawl into a comfortable bed at the end of the day, but there are a lot of people in our own communities who are sleeping on the floor, lacking in basic furniture like beds, tables, and chairs. Furniture Friends is a nonprofit based in Westbrook with a simple mission. They seek to provide that basic furniture to families in need. They have a virtual fundraiser coming up, and I spoke with Jen McAdoo, the executive director, about the work they do and the challenges of continuing that work in a pandemic. The pandemic has changed our work in significant ways. Um, the main way is since the middle of March, we've been without volunteers. Mm. And prior to the middle of March, we probably had 100 volunteers working with us each and every month. There's a tremendous amount of need in our communities. You know, people are sleeping on the floor night after night. Mm. People are eating their meals on the floor day after day. And right now, when we're in this reality of doing virtual school, you know, for children not to have places to do their homework uh, is really um, a significant burden for so many families. All of the clients we serve are low income mm -hmm. and are dealing with a number of additional challenges. Some people have been homeless for an extended period of time and are newly housed. Others are immigrants who are new to Maine and have arrived here with nothing in the way of material possessions. Um, others are women who have survived domestic violence. Uh, we work with people who live with disabilities. Anybody who's in recovery and dealing with other challenges. Furniture Friends is what's known as a furniture bank. We receive donated furniture from uh, individuals in the community. We work with over 120 social service providers who are working with individuals that they know lack financial resources and also don't have the essential furniture that they need to feel safe and comfortable in their home. Tell me a little bit about the plans for this fundraiser. Our volunteers came up with this idea of a virtual slumber party. And it's really a fun and family friendly way to connect people of all ages um, to raise awareness and financial support for Furniture Friends. And really what we're asking people to do is to sleep on the floor for just one night uh, in the hopes that other people won't have to. And how do people participate in the virtual slumber party? It's not too late to sign up. Um, the event doesn't start until Saturday, October 3rd at seven o'clock, so there's still time. And um, it's a great way for people to think about probably the one piece of furniture that we all take for granted in our homes is having a nice comfortable bed to sleep in night mm -hmm. after night. Is this something that you're hoping families might sort of adopt and do together and, and think about together and maybe sleep on the floor together and, and talk a little bit about it as a family and what that might mean? This is a way for younger children to really think, well, I have a bed, what's the big deal? But when you realize that not everybody has a bed, um, when you're sleeping on the floor night after night, imagine how that impacts you the next day or the next week or the mm. next month. For me, I think the gift of this work is allowing me to play an active role in building our community. People from other countries who aren't familiar with the ethic of community service are dumbfounded that people they've never met will give them furniture for free and they'll never have the opportunity to thank them in person. I hope our community recognizes that that spirit of generosity goes a long way in making Maine what it is.
In 2019, Furniture Friends served nearly 640 families. They hope their virtual slumber party will raise awareness and funds so they can continue this important work. If you would like to find out more information about Furniture Friends and their upcoming fundraiser, we will include a link in the 207 section of our website and mobile app.